Hey there my friends, Eric Andres, your guitar sage here to show you today how to play Bad to the Bone. Essentially, this was going to be part of my one chord series because technically it's just a G chord the whole time. So if you're playing on acoustic guitar, you could just play that ba -da -da, just play that G chord, but obviously there's a little bit more to this riff here and uh, it's a perfect slide tune for beginners for folks that really suck at slide like I do uh, I'm not very I'm not a prof very proficient slide player in my opinion and uh, and really probably to slide players opinion I'm not uh, I'm not the best so it's a perfect tune for those who aren't the best and for folks that are wanting to kind of dabble with slide a bit and of course it's the, the probably one of the more famous uh, slide tunes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do this today with the slide and without the slide, and, um, and we can get going. So first off, we're gonna, use, we're gonna do it without the slide, and I'm gonna show you how to get that same basic riff sound. You don't need the slide for it. And then uh, show you kind of a little bit how to think about in regards to the solo. All right, let's go. All right, so first off, the song's in G, and really the bulk of this riff is going to be on the two middle strings, so on strings three and four. And we have this open. So we could do this with uh, fingers two and three, any fingers you want, actually, but basically you're going to play the fifth fret and the third fret, so like this. So it's open, fifth fret, open, third fret, open. So it's like this. You could do that with these two fingers or you could do it with a bar. Pretty cool riff, right? It's fairly easy to do. Now, I'll give you a couple little tricks that I like to do. I like to take my middle finger here, tuck it underneath the second string. So when I am striking these chords, I'm not hitting that string. Now technically, you could hit that third, or the, the second string actually. So in this case, I'm saying the third string as in it's the, we were just doing a two string lick, now we're doing a three string lick. But technically, we're just be doing, we're gonna be playing strings four and three, but we could hit that second string there. We could do that, but really it's gonna sound better in my opinion to use strings three and four. So what I do is I take my second finger, I tuck it underneath that second string. So when I strike down, I'm not actually hitting that string, it's muted already. So my finger's kind of stuck in there and I'm picking. These are little things, little tricks that us guitar players use live and in the studio that you don't, might not normally think about, uh, but we're doing them, okay? Now, that's the main riff there, easy enough. Open, fifth fret, open, third fret, open. Okay, so you could do that without a slide. Now, if you wanted to use a slide, I've got a few different ones. This one recently here that I've got uh, is kind of a, it's, it looks like glass, but it's not. I have glass slides and metal slides, and this is like a mud slide. Uh, but I'm really digging this one, and um, gosh, I'll probably have to do a review on it because I, I got picked this up at the NAMM show, and I forgot who it was that I got it from, but I really, really dig it. But it's like a, it's like a, um, like it's like a very 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 hard dense plastic and I really like the way it feels and the way it sounds so I know who would think that plastic would be a great um, slide but it is in this case okay so instead of borrowing it here with my fingers then I can use the slide of course when you're playing slide you want to be directly over the fret so don't think of the fret as being this think of it as be being this fret wire okay so you're gonna put the slide directly over that if you're below it be flat. If you want to be directly over the fret wire. If you're not, it's not going to sound as good. Okay? You don't want. It doesn't sound the worst in the world, but it doesn't sound as good as. That the intonation is better there. So be over the fret wire anytime you're using the fret. Or anytime you're using the slide, make sure you're directly over the fret. Okay? 
I have a, a little bit more detail of this in the Unstoppable Guitar System. That link is below. You can get in that program for $1 and check it out. You can test drive it. Okay, so. And then what I do is I mute with my second finger, my second finger here. I'm talking too fast. Or my first finger. Now, when you're doing slide, you typically want to have your slide finger, and then you want to have another finger right behind it that basically cleans up the sound a little bit. So if I didn't have this finger back here, it's not the worst sound in the world, but it's going to sound better if you're muting back there, especially when you're playing individual notes. That second one you heard was much cleaner because I'm actually muting the notes behind the slide. Otherwise, you get a bunch of sounds that don't sound good. I won't go into all that detail right now. Okay, now, um, there's a couple licks and stuff that you can do for this too. And so, you know, just kind of sticking with like a bluesy pentatonic sound. That right there is just three notes out of the G major chord, and so that's why that sounds so good, and that's that signature lick that George does um, in the song. So, and so what I'm doing there is I'm picking the the D string while it, while my slide is low here, sliding up to the twelfth fret. So just anywhere, don't pick a fret. Just you know. You're in. precise about it, it's rock and roll. You don't want to be precise, right? It's rock and roll. So you slide up from some lower note here on that D string, and when you get up to the 12th fret, you want to hit strings, uh, the B and the G, or the second and third string. And it's nice to give it a wiggle. Okay, slide is very strange in the beginning when you're trying to do vibrato, if you're used to, to just playing, you know, this, that sort of, that sort of vibrato, I find it was, it's, it's kind of odd to do it with a slide because you're kind of doing this back and forth motion instead of this uh, twisty wrist bit, you know what I mean? That's what I call it, a twisty wrist bit, twisty wrist bit, twisty, twisty wrist bit, twisty wrist bit. Say that ten times fast, twisty wrist bit, twisty wrist bit. And so uh, makes it a lot easier or makes it a little bit strange when you're using the, um, the slide. So that's one lick that you can have fun with. So he does this other thing to where he goes, uh, I forgot what the lick is exactly, but basically he's got this, um, which is a bar chord, you know, really we're outlining this a, a major form, that's an A major, because it, it's A major right there, and we're gonna take that form, and we, if we slid it up as a, as a, a bar chord, and we slid it up to here, this uh, happens to be a G, that G bass note there, because this is E, F, F sharp, G, so we got a G major bar chord up here. And if we hit that high note right there that's on the 10th fret, outline that, okay? And so we got our little slide here and we go. So he hits this note here, but what you do is when you're picking, it's okay if you let a note or two slide in there. It kind of makes that messy slide sound, which sounds really nice, but really what slide players try to do is they try to mute a lot of those notes. So you could use, you know, finger picking, you could go, um, so you could use finger picking, or you could do hybrid picking, so using a pick and both your fingers. But the idea there is when you're picking a note that should be sounded, you pick it, and then the other notes should be muted because when you do start moving the slide back and forth, on strings that you're not playing, you get this sound. So if I pick, and if I already picked this note and I'm sliding up to another one, I don't want that note. And I'm not trying to slide up to that note. I'm trying to slide up to the note on another string. So I'm trying to go. 
but see those two notes don't sound well together, so what I would do is I'd go and I'd mute that high E string, so I'd go and so I'm grabbing it with this hand. Okay, and what I'm doing is when I get to that note here, I'm picking the second string. Okay. Again, uh, these techniques are new techniques uh, if, if you're not used to playing slide, and so they're a little bit awkward at first. There's another cool little thing here that you can do. He does that, and he, he's basically sliding up to this note, which is a G. Again, he's not scared of playing some Gs in this song that's in the key of G. And so... And so he's sliding up from this F right here. And basically, I'm on the D string now. And I'm sliding from the third fret to the fifth fret. Okay, and I look, I'm getting handsy over here with the strings. I'm muting them with my right hand. So whether you're muting with the right or the left hand, um, you know, you, you, obviously the left hand you'd be muting with the back finger here. But you've got to do all the muting. Uh, basically, you're muting as much as possible. You're, any string that you're not playing, you should be getting accustomed to choking in some way. Otherwise, you might hear, hear all those extra sounds there. This is without the mute. I can hear three or four notes playing in there. Even though I'm only picking one. Now if I mute it, and see what I'm doing here is I'm muting. I've got my thumb all over the sixth and fifth fret, and these fingers are whole are all over one, two, and three. So I'm just playing that the fourth string. So that's the idea. Okay. All right, my friends. That's it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them below here. If you like this video, which hopefully you did, if you've watched this long, you should hit thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you wanna be uh, privy to like the 800 videos or so that I have on here and you wanna know more about what I do. Uh, I'm here to help you play guitar. This is my passion. It's what, uh, it's what I've been called to do, called to do by God. Uh, it's, I was on a mountain and I received this message and it said, you need to teach the people of YouTube how to play guitar. I just, but seriously, it's, I feel like I have a gift and I can help people. So please let me know how I can help you play guitar. I have tons of free stuff for you. If you go to yourguitarstage.com and you sign up for the free ebook that has a ton of great stuff in it, I give these Amazon books away to my folks that are on my list every single year. In fact, I usually do it twice a year. So get in there. We're getting ready to do it here for Christmas. Um, so do that. I have the first 30 lessons that I teach all students. I've been teaching for over 30 years now. And I came out with a little lesson series. It's the first 30 lessons that I teach all students. It's over $1,000 worth of free video for you at a cost of zero dollars. You can hit the link below uh, that says something about that. Go there. I want to help you out. Um, I'm on Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff. Would love to help you out there. And uh, obviously, if you're a more advanced player and you really want to dig into some cool stuff, um, I have videos that can't be found anywhere else except for the Unstoppable Guitar System, and you can test drive that for one dollar. The link for that's below as well. As always, my friends, spay and neuter your animals. Be kind to one another. Be kind to animals. Be kind to one another. Love your family. Get off your devices. Don't trust the man. Play lots of guitar. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.